Thank you for coming out to Tales of Male Folly. Men coming up here to tell stories about the ways in which they're male and how being a male sometimes gets in the way of being human. That's what happens when I'm nervous and I drink a single beer to get ready. Happens a lot more frequently than you realize. So wait, I'm the only dude. Nobody. That's fine. You guys don't want to be vulnerable? That's your business. I'm going to be vulnerable. So here's a couple of things to know about me at this time in my life. I make public access television. I'm taking Accutane, which is like the Cadillac of acne medication. And the only time you'd ever find a girl anywhere near my bedroom is when I'm playing Tomb Raider. Some things that I want to say that I can't decide if I should ever say or not. Uh... <laughs> That was my wife that said, oh boy. I suddenly take stock and look at myself and realize I have two samurai swords on my back, a lapel full of grenades and machine gun bullets, and I realize death by cop has definitely become an option here. We won't be watering anything down. We're still gonna get real here. So sexuality is a spectrum. And when I was a kid growing up in the suburbs, it seemed like less of a spectrum and you kind of knew where you were on one side or the other. I thought it was one thing, but then people in my high school would shout the other thing at me. I don't want to be closed off now. I'm going to listen to all the opinions and then make a decision. It's Tales of Male Folly. I'm doing it as I'm telling it. I just moved to London and, it might be a coincidence, started drinking. And I was sitting on this bus, a lady sat next to me. I turned to her and I was like, how about this bus? And she said, why are you talking to me? Which to this day I don't have an answer for. Do you know what? I've never thought about it that way. Uh, why am I talking to anyone? I don't mean to laugh at myself, but sometimes the beauty of this show is that you realize what an idiot you are in the moment. Yeah.